Hey Realmwalkers, I am Serdus Orbis, and today is Nightingale Patch Day. Inflection Games has pushed out update 0.1.2, which contains a number of bug fixes, quality of life updates, and exploit removal. Now they've listed their patch out in two main avenues, which is bug fixes and game changes. Let's get into the bug fixes first. Among the bug fixes, they place a number of game crash fixes right up top. You know, mostly with audio or with an essence trader purchase or with like certain quest objectives like leading to like weird issues other like various small crashes that they say combined makes the game more stable by 10 percent which is you know pretty significant they've also updated the build menu where they've added functionality to some small structures and allowing them to be copied moved and removed like most of the other stuff They've also made a control scheme change where they reverted a change from the previous update, a specifically scroll wheel reversion. Up next are a number of NPC bug fixes, such as bad spawns at the Bastille of Might Arena POIs. There's a, there was a, there's, apparently there were sun giants who were giving deprecated rewards as well. And there was an issue with controllers where if you removed recruitable map markers, they also accidentally dismissed your NPC, so that's obviously a problem. And they've also fixed some accidental NPC nudity, which I didn't personally experience, but I guess it was there. They fixed a bunch of character bugs, like with climbing picks, where like if you had climbed cliffs before and it was like the screen was just shaking, they fixed that. Um, there's also party invite bugs that they've smoothed out, along with character face models and character eye art. Inflection also fixed some instances where a player's respite becomes set to the watch by accident, which I didn't even know could happen. But anyone who is affected by that bug is now going to get sent to their very first abeyance realm in order to fix that. They've also fixed being able to craft Charm Braid Mind, which I'm sure a lot of people have had issues with. Inflection also made some fixes to certain game interfaces. Uh, the one that I really like is where Essence Trader categories now expand and collapse the way they're supposed to, which was a huge annoyance when I was in the shops. They've also updated the wording on the Dragon's Hort Eminent Minor card, so that it actually says what it actually does. Alright, on to the Game Changes section of the update. And the first thing they've listed here is that the Swamp Apex Vault is now brighter, which is good. There's actually a few parts in this game that's way too dark and they really need to like up that across the board maybe. Maybe not across the board, but they need to do something. I feel like things are a little too flat, like there's not enough contrast, there's not enough brightness control in the game. And this is a good step towards that. And one of the best changes they've made is allowing us to quick stack items into chests, making inventory management so much easier. Thank you Inflection for heading this. Thank you, thank you. Among the other big changes they've made is stamina usage, and they've done a bunch here. For example, they've removed the delay that your stamina regens after using a tool, which is fantastic. They've also made a bunch of changes to dodge, first by reducing stamina usage from 15 to 10, and also the distance from 5 to 4 meters, which makes it a lot more viable in combat. Because if you're dodging 15 every time, you're taking out a chunk of your stamina, and you're going way too far, and you have to run up in order to re-engage. You also can't be tracked by enemies while dodging, and you're also immune to knockback while dodging, which is fantastic. We need more invincible frames. Now, although they've removed airborne stamina regen, they've also reduced stamina usage all around. For example, one-handed weapons now only use three stamina per swing instead of four, and the same thing with two-handed weapons. They all now use six stamina before they were all kind of different. I believe axes was different. On top of that, stamina costs for climbing, swimming, and gliding have now been halved, which is a phenomenal change. They really needed to do this. And one other big stamina change is no longer getting drained after blocking hits, which is a fantastic change. And this probably shouldn't have been costing stamina in the first place, but good thing they removed it. And now onto their resource changes, which are actually really great changes. So for example, repair costs have been updated, and this is big. Big, big, big. And what it does now is that the costs now adjust based on percentage of damage that your item has taken. 
So before it would cost you say 5 essence to fix something if it was 100% broken or even 1% broken and now that'll that'll change. So that's a great 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 change. The other big thing is that they removed exploits specifically with allowing reclaimed recipes to allow people to fold ingots quote unquote and that which resulted in game breaking overpowered weapons and that's fantastic. Mainly because, I mean, it ruins the game not just for the person doing the exploit, but for anyone that's playing with the person using that exploit, because it just kind of makes the game flat for everyone. They also noted that you can now use Lustrous Ink as a Vibrant Ink, which is probably a pretty good change, though they might want to reconsider how much different inks can be made in the first place. And really, like, any materials, any refined materials, ought to be looked at like that. Like, is there too many? Like, do we need to, like, call this down, and so on and so forth. Now, among the user interface and user experience changes they've made are updated descriptions to biome realm cards, uh, specifically adding hazards that are found in said biomes on the cards themselves, which is great. More communication is fantastic. And if you're a fan of the debug screen, you should now start seeing active minor cards being listed in there. Finally, Inflection lists a couple of miscellaneous things that make life a bit better for all. One is an exploit fix regarding duped dropped items, and the other is to allow certain activities to reset the AFK timer. You know, like, listed fishing is one of the activities, which means that people who simply want to spend all day by the water fishing their heart out without being forced to move every few minutes, this is your patch. And that's pretty much all the changes Inflection has made in update 0.1.2. I think a lot of these are really, really great, and it shows that they are listening to player feedback when it comes to these huge problems and bugs and quality of life issues. And if you want to contribute by providing your own feedback and bug experiences, be sure to head to their Seek Plan page, which I'll link in the description below, along with the patch notes themselves. How about you though? What do you think of all these changes? Are they good? Are they bad? Let us know in the comments what you think. Peace.